Hey guys, it's Sarah, and I just wanted to quickly go over wrapping on a Turkish spindle in the God's Eye fashion, just like this. But as you can see here, right here is the layer that is underneath the one before that I'm doing right now. So a couple people have expressed concerns as when to start a new layer. Like they say they come all the way down the, the legs and it never looks good. And so I kind of want to show how I do it to kind of help you see exactly when to start a new layer on the spindle. I am doing this kind of from a weird angle. Um, my bathroom has the best lighting, so I'm kind of trying to do like a sideways over the top kind of <laughs> angle, so I'm sorry if it's a little wonky. Um, so we'll go in just a second. All right, so I've got a couple of makes of yarn or singles on my finger butterfly, and this is how I wind on not really perfect by any means, but this is how I do it. You can see we're getting closer to covering up the previous layer, which is right here. It stops right here. Here's where my current layer stops. It's probably only two or three more wraps around each side. And then I will have completely covered the layer that came before it. And what happens is people who have turtle cops that just go up and up and up and they don't spread out any is because they don't widen the base of their cop. And that is what I'm going to show you right now. If we were to stop right here, you can just barely see the previous layer underneath. So if I was to stop and start a new layer right now, the turtle cop would continue to go up and would not go out over the legs any further. And that is not what we want. We want our turtle to continue to get fat as well as tall. So we're gonna keep going around. And now our previous layer pretty much completely covered and you can see that underneath I have just one or two wraps still so we're gonna keep going and keep building wider on the arms And when to stop building wide is really up to you. But I generally stop when I have to really work to get the under side to lay next to its one that came before. So right now it's still laying down nicely so we can keep going. This one is starting to get a little unruly. See how that one doesn't really want to lay beside its partner. This one's still okay. So now I've completely covered up my previous layer. You can see that there's no layers underneath showing and there's no layers showing 
in any of the little corners. I hope you guys can see that. And so now, from here, let me just start anew. And just keep building out until all the yarn is gone. Hope that helped, guys. If you need any other questions, or sorry, if you need any other help or have any other questions, just let me know and I will do my best to get back with you guys or make another video to help. Thanks. Bye. Hey, guys. I also wanted to show you one quick thing. Um, I've said that I do, I don't know if you can see it right here but right there in that golden area, really close to the shaft, that's actually an underside layer. So I generally, when my cup gets about this big on a finch, I start doing two layers on top, which I've done, and then I flip it over and do one layer on the bottom. So I wanted to kind of show you what that looks like. Um, it's pretty much the same thing as winding on top, except you flip the spindle over. Um, I find that when I build layers underneath as well as on top. My turtle cups are a little bit more stable when I remove them from the spindle. Um, I generally let my spindles sit or my cups sit on the spindle for about 24 hours uh, before I remove them just to give them the extra stability. But a lot of times when I take my spindles out of the cup and I don't build underneath. Uh, these little layers right here like to fall down really easily. So when you build um, layers underneath as well as on top, it kind of hugs the, the layers that are on top and keeps them more in line and less likely to go crazy and fall off. Um, now that I'm kind of out of singles in my wrapping, I'll show, I'll flip it over and show you uh, what it looks like from the top uh, to give you an idea of how it's going to hug. But this is what it would look like underneath, and you can see that's the previous layers and the simple God's eye that it's going to create. And then on top, these wraps are going to come up pretty high, probably to about here, and they're gonna hug this layer and the layer underneath of it to keep it um, more stable once you take the spindle out.